Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to the show. Today we're going to do a little bit of a different build than my typical barbarian is. Uh, this, with the recent patches they just put through for 2.4.3, they really made the Whirlwind Barbarian a lot better in some aspects. Uh, you're no longer stuck with just using something like grief. Oh, pardon me. Uh, sure, grief is still a very viable option and a great choice. It's, you know, best in slot for a lot of builds, but I'm starting to think that that's no longer the case for this particular build. Mm, pardon. A little gassy this morning. Been drinking coffee. Uh, so, I was gonna stream yesterday, but didn't have everything put together that I wanted to. Let me just pause that for a moment, so that way I'm not running an extra bit of internet suckage in the back. Alright, so, I had to put in a little bit of time and actually get this put together yesterday. Because I didn't want to try and do it all on live stream, and this is all on my Battle.net account, so it's not like I could just go into single player and have it done in 10 minutes with, you know, GG gear and all that happy noise. So, we've got same areas that I always run, because I don't have a better one yet, unfortunately. Uh, I have still yet to actually find an area. I traded this for, or traded a pull rune for this way back, like months and months ago. Uh, uh, I need to get a better one, but it goes to show that any area it's works, you don't need one that's maxed out. So, you run with an area it's a high lords, because now the increased attack speed helps with your whirlwind. So we'll get to that. Uh, you can run with a storm shield or without, all depends on how you want to run your build. Uh, if you're gonna run... You know, if you 100% know you're going to run with a Storm Shield, go with a Berserker Axe for this build. If you 100% know you're not going to run with a Storm Shield, go with a Decapitator for this build. If you want to be able to run somewhere in the middle, go with a Sword. Because you can run it one-handed or two-handed. Uh, that's the beauty of this build. It's one of the reasons I love Sword Barbs as much as I do because you've got the option to use either with a big two-handed sword. You can either run it one-handed or two-handed. And you'll see where that comes into play in a little bit. So, Ariats, a High Lords, a Storm Shield. Neither of these have anything in them yet. Um, the ultimate goal would be uh, 15 increased attack speed, 15 to all resist. Um... If you have resist charms and you don't need those, then any 15 IAS jewels will work. Uh, basically, it's just a matter of whatever you're lacking on your resistances. Like, I have only 56% on my poison resist, but everything else is, you know, 75 fire and cold with 80 to lightning resist. Now, I take off my storm shield and I'm only at 56 for those two, for uh, cold and poison. Now... A 15 IAS, 15 all resist. It's not going to put those to 75, but they're going to be pretty good. They'll be what? Uh, without War Cry, they'll be 68. So, it's uh, 7 off from max. With War Cry, they'll be a little better, but still. Ah, sorry, a little stuffy this morning. Uh, running a Fortitude. Uh, Realistically, any fortitude will work. It doesn't have to be one that's got really great stats. This has the worst resistances you can possibly roll on it. But it has the best life that you can roll. Um, barbarians don't need perfect resist gear because of this. It's very helpful. And when you cast Battle Command, that gives it another plus one. So that ends up being, I think it was... Uh, 50 or 51 to all. So, you know, it's a little better. But 
just the fact that with a single skill point, you can have an additional 50 to your resistances, you know, essentially. All right. Uh, the obligatory laying of hands, because there just isn't a better set of gloves for these kinds of builds. Um, the increased attack speed, the extra damage to demons, and the fire resistance are very difficult to argue with. Uh, the only other gloves that are really in contention for being even close to as good as these is like a Drax. But even that, uh, I'd argue that you're better off just having a life tap wand on your swap hand. Because you can just swap, cast, swap back, and then you've still got these on your glove hands. Yeah, glove hands. Hmm. <laughs> that generally is where gloves go. But, uh, Raven Frost of any flavor. I like Nosferatu's coil. Uh, the increased attack speed and lifesteal is what I'm about for this. Uh, especially, like I said, where your changes to Whirlwind now gain increased attack speed from your uh, non weapon gear. So it doesn't have to be on your weapon anymore, it can be on, you know, helmet, shield. Gloves, belt, amulet, and still add to your whirlwind attack speed. Which is fantastic for this build. Uh, I think this just took the cake as far as how I'm going to end up playing this barbarian from here out. Uh, he was a concentrate berserker with only one point into whirlwind, and he is not anymore. But, <clears throat> as I was saying, Nosferatu's coil, it's a great little belt. Uh... The best life leech ring that I have, it's an 8%, 20 to strength, with 72 to mana, 14 stamina, and half freeze duration. Uh, the life steal, strength, and mana are just great for this build. Uh, you don't need a ton of mana, but having, you know, just that little bit extra on your ring that, it's just nice. Uh, and a set of gore riders. These are 196s. It works with any gore riders. They don't have to be high percentage. You're not the defense isn't what you're going for. It's the other stats. It's literally every other stat but the defense that matters. Uh, especially where this is a uh, berserk build, so your defense matters even less. Uh, this is really is like a, a bottom feeder build that just happens to be nasty. Uh, so that's the gear. My charms are, you know, non-perfect, but pretty decent. I do play the game a lot, so I've got some pretty good charms. Uh, they're all just max damage with some secondary mods here and there thrown in. You know, these each have some decent life. That's got 19 life. You can get more than that out of a small charm. But, you know, that's, you don't need the absolute best gear. Or, eh, this is pretty good gear, I'm not going to lie. But you don't need your be the best charms, I should say. So, we got all of those. My crappy little barb torch. My realistically kind of crappy Annihilus. Uh, my mercenary, just because I haven't gotten uh, my Andariel's face put on him yet for some reason. Uh, is running a crown of thieves, because... Life and life, life and life steal. Talking is difficult today for some reason. Uh, we got a pride for the concentration aura because every little bit helps when you're dealing with this guy. Like, keep him alive, and you're going to be doing some pretty crazy good damage. Like, they really made the two handed barb on this tasty. Uh, Fortitude, again, is a mercenary, so you don't really need the best. He's got 60, or 59 all resists already, so it, even on the worst possible roll being 15, or, uh, yeah, 15, uh, 25, you're still gonna be 10% over on your resistances, so they'll be maxed. Alright, let's, uh... Pretty sure Chumley over here already has his Might Aura activated because I think I came in. Nope, I didn't. All right. 
So let's cast our War Cries, which gives us 4,161 life, which is delicious because I have a base 100 strength, a base 75 dexterity, just because I did want a little bit better chance to block. Uh, this also makes it so that way, if you want, you can run a grief on your offhand, which works very well also. So a, a grief and a death. Oh yeah, <laughs> I didn't even go over this. This is what I've been waiting a while to get. Um, I wanted to find a uh, 15% base, but I couldn't. So I just took the regular one that I had sitting on a mule and it rolled a 377. So I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, exactly 500 on the max one hand. That's basically what I wanted to see is anything over 500, you know, 500 or better. And I got it. So big happy on that one. Uh, as you can see, even without his might aura being procced, you're sitting one handed at 12 K berserk. And you have 95% chance of deadly strike. Uh, that will max out at 101 with this gear at level 99. So you'll be hitting deadly strike every single time. Or you can bring that back a little bit, put uh, goblin toes on here, and have the 75% chance of crushing blow. And also you'd have, what, 101 minus 15, so 86% deadly strike. Uh, so... It, that's still really good. You're still going to be hitting for double damage almost every time because you have your mastery also, which helps to add to that. So that's a 31% chance, and then you would have 86% chance for deadly strike. They both do the same thing, but they don't stack because they are technically different stats, attributes, whatever you want to call them. Uh... So we'll go over the skills because I didn't do that either, apparently. Uh, you max out whatever your mastery is going to be. Uh, like I said, I went with sword for this one because I like swords. You can use an axe. Uh, unfortunately, you can't put this weapon in a mace. I wish I could have this in a thunder mole. Because that would be extra tasty. But, alas, it's not meant to be. So... I'll go with sword because that's my second favorite. I don't know why I'm not as big a fan of axes as everybody else. Maybe just because I like to be a little different. Who knows? It's not something I'm conscious of. So you max out your mastery, whatever that's going to be. One into stamina and speed because they're one point wonders. Who doesn't want an extra 35% run walk from a single point? Well, two technically. Because you do have to put into stamina to get it. But... It's fine. Uh, so, one into each of those. One into Iron Skin, and that'll give you a good defense boost. And one into Natural Resistance. Ah, as I said. So that goes up to 52 for your Resist All from 49. When you cast Battle Command. So you put... You start off with your one into Howl, one into Shout... You max out your battle orders, and then you put one into that. Uh, you max out Whirlwind and Berserk. Put in your required single points into those. And then, you're going to have a bunch of skill points left over. So, you put those into Howl. And the reason for that is because Howl synergizes with Berserk... And adds just as much damage as Battle Orders does. So you've already maxed out your Battle Orders. So you're getting that 200% uh, extra damage from that. I haven't done the math. I don't think I'm going to have enough to max out Howl. I think it ends up being like a level 17 or something. Uh, 18? Yeah, 18 I think. <clears throat> just rough math right here. And so that's, what, another 180% to your damage for Berserk? Uh, this isn't going to be your primary attack. This is just kind of like cleanup or dealing with 
bosses or things that are immune to physical, that sort of thing. So, let's go up here. Let's uh, recast these real quick. Never forget your war cries. They are important. See, unfortunately, I already cleared these guys, and he hadn't popped his aura yet, because I guess I just kind of ran through them. Hey, there it is. All right, so... Kill them. We're doing 13,000 Berserk. With Deadly Strike, that doubles to 26,000. Without a shield, that goes to you know 19,000 to 42,000 after Deadly Strike. With Berserk, you're doing a 42k Berserk. And with the new changes to Whirlwind, this weapon is no longer god-awful slow. Uh, you're not going to be as fast on your concentrate, or, yeah, not concentrate, on your berserks as you would be with, like, a grief. But you don't need to be. Because you're still hitting plenty fast. Uh, I will show you once I go and fight Diablo and Bell and all that happy jazz. But this dude, oh boy, he kills everything. Uh, and the reason I, again, prefer sword over everything else is because if you're dealing with stuff that's got, you know, high damage or, you know, be it physical or elemental, just throw a storm shield on. It's got 35% uh, physical damage resist, plus it gives you 60 to, what, cold resist and 25 to lightning resist. So that's going to help with those. Uh, I wouldn't mind some lightning absorb, but if you really need it, you can just kind of like throw on a lightsaber on your offhand instead of a storm shield. You're going to lose your cold resist and the physical damage reduction, but you gain, I don't remember if it's 20 or 25% uh, lightning absorb. So that's going to really mitigate these guys because they can have a tendency to hurt a lot. And the nice thing is you've still got Concentrate for those ones where you need to uh, leech back life or mana or whatever. But it's only a single target and you don't want to be burning, what is it, 27 mana per Whirlwind versus 2 per Concentrate. Uh, your Concentration attack rating isn't that great, but it is what it is. You're still going to hit stuff no problem. Uh, you're not going to be using it for things like Bale or Diablo. Again, it's mostly just if you need to leech and you're on a single target. But Berserk works better for your prime evils because it's just a ton more damage. And you just pop like everything. Even if you want to run just Berserk, you can. I don't recommend it because Whirlwind now is so much better than it used to be if you don't want to use grief for whatever reason whether you don't have it just want to run something different uh this i think is going to be a better way to go these days like i've run grief that's what i was running before i was able to get uh my death sword put together and it's great don't get me wrong I'm not going to say anything bad about Grief. It is, you know, best in slot for a reason. But I don't think it's best in slot for this build anymore. And that makes me happy. Alright. Oh, those are immune to physical. Okay. I'm like, why aren't they dying? And then you just walk up and... Mercilessly slaughter them. I just really dig that you can use a big nasty weapon now for Whirlwind and not take such a penalty for not using something with attack speed on the weapon itself. 
Yeah, the physicals. But I mean, pretty much everything just dies in one shot through anyway. Like, it's known that I play mostly solo. Uh, basically, the only reason I'm on Battle.net to begin with is just so that way I can trade if I need to. Because I like having halfway decent gear. Skeletons are annoying because you can't leech off them. But as you can see, you attack plenty fast enough in Whirlwind now with this big nasty two-hand weapon with no increased attack speed on the blade itself. Uh, I have run a grief on your second hand. It also does really well. So if you want to run, you know, one of each, that's viable also. If you want to run, uh, you know, death and last wish, if you have it, I think that that would be an excellent combination as well. Hey, there we go. Pull on mana again. What? Oh, yeah. It's the only downside about running the way that I am right now. Sometimes it takes up space in your cube. But you can just throw it back on your main hand. Or whatever you want to call it. And you're good to go. Uh, you don't quite one-shot everything when you're running a shield, but like I said, you're a lot more durable. Because you have much better resistances. Uh, that 35% damage reduction from physical is just wonderful. Back here. Alright. But. We're gonna run no shield because I found that this works really well. Like, yo! No way! Are you serious? Um, <laughs> I wasn't ready for this. Not even a little bit. This is my first time facing the clone in D2R. I can't believe it happened on stream. That is, that makes me giddy. Let's go. And I actually have enough potions to survive this. I can't believe this just happened on stream. So here's proof of concept. I get to kill the clone. Alright, you should follow me over here so that way I can get away from his stupid curse. But you're not gonna, are you? Oh, he just brought a lot of his life back. Okay, that's unfortunate. It's face me, not him.
Talk about a terrible place to find him, though. God, I hate Decrepify so much. Nice! Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Survey says 2014-6. Hell yeah. All right. Uh, let's do this. Pick that back up. And get back to what we were doing for a moment. All right. <laughs> So that was excellent. Quite excited about that, as I'm sure you can see. Standing between him and them. Oh. Posh. There we go. All right. That was about the best test that I could have asked for that I didn't ask for. <laughs> oh. And it's so much better than the one that I've been running. <laughs> Come here, Bale. Well, I was going to go run Diablo in his sanctuary, but Bale was nice enough to bring a bigger, beefier version of him to me and save me the trouble. Now, let's see if Bale's going to be nice and drop anything, though. If I can kill him. There we go. Absolutely nothing. But that's quite okay. I'll live with that. Because I just got my second Annihilus. Twenty fourteen six. This one's a little better on the resists. This one's much better on the attributes. And a little better on the experience. So I'll run with this one. Uh, because, as I said before, your gear doesn't need to be perfect on your resistances for a barbarian because of his natural resistances. 